This is Pastor Corey, and we're working on our, our daily devotion for May 11th. And I wish it was a little later in the spring, and I might be able to demonstrate uh, the whole idea of what I'm talking about a little better, but we'll try. This is a, a maple that we have in our yard, and we've talked a lot through this whole pandemic that things are gonna be different after this whole crisis is over. And I think this tree is a perfect example of that. If you remember, uh, about a year and a half ago, we had an early winter with snow that came before, um, before the leaves were off. And this tree had a branch, a, quite a large branch, that that fell uh, during that storm, that snowfall, and I didn't think much of it until last summer. The tree leafed out just fine, but then about halfway through the summer, all of a sudden, half the tree, kind of from that wounded area on up began to uh, turn to fall and the leaves changed colors and they fell off mid-July. The rest of the tree acted normal and so I've been kind of worried about whether we're going to see uh, any foliage this year on this tree and I still haven't decided. I, I'm kind of thinking part of the tree isn't going to isn't going to leaf out but the tree is doing something interesting it's taking care of itself and though it will be different it will uh, it will still be uh, a tree you see here all this new growth that's below that wounded area uh, reaching up toward the sky trying to fill in the parts of the tree that were wounded you can see uh, right there is the wound area and I think this is a little bit about what's what's going to be like us. Things are going to be different. It will still be, but it will be different. I would like to close us in prayer today with a prayer that is found in the Evangelical Lutheran Worship Book. Some may know, some may not, that the, this book is not only a resource for worship, but it's a resource for personal devotion life, too, and it includes many different prayers on many different topics. Uh, those can be found in the beginning of the worship book. I'm going to use a prayer that is actually found in evening prayer or vespers, and it has always been one of my favorite. It speaks of not necessarily knowing where we're going, but knowing that God's present with us always. So let us pray. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.